last time on Young Justice. The peace talks between the representatives from Earth, specifically Rocket, against the citizens of New Genesis, specifically the New Gods, and the Green Lantern Corps from Oa, namely Kilowog and Tomari, have not been working out the best. But something that they all could align with was sadness over the death of Superboy, thanks to Bear coming in and seeing his old friends from Earth. We even found out that Tomari was the Green Lantern in charge of protecting the sector that Krypton used to stand in. It's also made obvious that certain concessions are made towards Earth by Orion because of how he feels, though this could sometimes be positive or negative depending on the situation. We also had the infiltration of the Mobius Vault by Lorzad, Mantis, and Malafa'ak in search of the Phantom Zone projector in order to free Zod and his followers. And thanks to some quick thinking by Mantis, they were able to gain the Phantom Zone projector right under Metron's nose. Meanwhile in the Phantom Zone, Connor has found himself in the service of General Zod and has come to the realization that Phantom Girl might not wake up because time doesn't pass in the Phantom Zone. And as she might have entered the Phantom Zone unconscious, well, how do you wake up when time does not pass? So much has happened so far, and we're coming to the conclusion of Rocket's story arc. Will Apocalypse's obvious aggressions against New Genesis finally spur the new gods to fight back? Will the House of Zod be released from the Phantom Zone? Let's find out. Huh. A swamp? Bayou Bartholomew. Ooh, are we gonna see Swamp Thing? Is that Madame Xanadu? Yeah. Oh, please tell me we're gonna see Swamp Thing. Please, please, please. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Souls of the dead? What is going on? Who is she calling? Oh, she's trying to find Connor's soul? Zatanna. Salem. Dr. Fate? Oh, wait. Convince Naboo to cooperate with what? What are they trying to get Naboo to do? What are they up to? Just trying to locate Connor? Hmm. Oh, hey, the Bioship. Subspace. Oh, right. Ah, oh, the one thing I forgot. The stranded Legion of Superheroes are working with Bart in order to maybe get back home or stop Lorzad. Also, Odyssey of Death. That is uh, such a metal title. I'm also frightened. One day before present, right? And Mantis really managed to pull through. <laughs> like, boom, Sun Eater! Oh, he knows their destination, right? He's <laughs> like, Metron, you wanna tell us what's going on? <laughs> like, can y'all time travel? No? Then shut up and follow me! Time is literally of the essence. Oh, they're still on New Genesis. Okay. Some time has passed. It's like, I got the projector, shut the fuck up. Oh no, the time sphere is damaged. Wait, why am I saying oh no? <laughs> That's a good thing for the good guys. I'm getting a little too invested in their story. Projector is drained. Huh. He's gonna power the Phantom Zone projector? Huh. Ooh, are they gonna end up teaming up with the uh, Legion of Superheroes and Bart? <laughs> Metron dropping them cryptic lines. The fate of the galaxy. Supertown. Come on down to Supertown. Oh, okay. High Forager's gonna go to Earth with Forager? That's mighty Forager of you. Aww. Aww. That's adorable. <laughs> There's no other moment to lose to prevent an invasion from the Phantom Zone. The Phantom what? The Phantom Zone. The hilarious thing is, this might actually be what they need in order to save Goner. So it'll also both be a curse and a blessing all within the same instance. Keeping pace with non-strong will, huh? Oh, they want to learn what Superboy knows? Hmm. Oh, he explained the whole thing to him. Oh, that's how he got the Phantom Zone projector. Man, Metro was even trading with Krypton? Interesting. <laughs> I don't know, Orion. It's just like, yeah, Metron, you eventually got to the really important part. Yes, a legion of superpowered supermen ripping ass through the universe. That's not good. Multiple potential sources. Divine Guard mobilized. Oh, every new god mobilized. Yeah. Hey, Light Ray! Two other locations. Yes! Man, it's been a long time since we've seen him. <laughs> Stay frosty, poozas. Into the fray. Boiling Lake 
crater. Hmm. Recharging for hours. Damn. Fully charged. Okay, no. It's ready to boost its charge, essentially. Ah, uh, they can't communicate. Shit. Alright, what you gonna do, Lorzod? Ooh, Psychic Blast. Yeah, Tomari! Love having a Green Lantern on their side. Uh, she's trying to look after him. Oh, a fight in the Psychic Room. Oh, Jigak, no! He's too old for that shit! Uh, Forager versus Mantis. Interesting. And Tomare versus Lorzod. Interesting. Oof. Damn! <laughs> Forager's got Forager covered. Oh, shit. Uh, gonna use her fear against her. Oh! I didn't real- I didn't remember that she was told at that point. Oh, what's happening to the lake? What is that? What the fuck is that? Promethean? What the hell is a Promethean? Source energy? Oh no. Tomare, no. Uh, he's gotta try to safely expel it into the outer space. Druzad. Oh shit, it's not recognizing its DNA. He wasn't in- Uh yeah, I mean he wasn't in prison. Okay, so the Phantom Zone projector, it, you have to have your DNA registered to it in order to have it keep you in or let you out. But unless someone goes through the Phantom Zone projector, you're not registered, so you can freely come and go. That's a fascinating system. Covers a lot of bases, too. A Promethean. That really is a new one on me. All right, Forager. Oh, man, I hope he's going to be okay. <laughs> Wait, did Light Ray actually tell her all this? This doesn't seem right. What? That doesn't seem like something Light Ray would say. Not a monster, he just needs help. Oh, wow. Shit. Nice. Oh. I wasn't expecting that to be the way that Rocket kind of understood Orion. But, I mean, hey, better late than never. Ah, jeez, Forager. Yeah, this is one's been a long time coming. You know, Mantis has wanted to you know, essentially kill Forager since last season. Oh, nice. Interesting payoff. Yeah, combat training. Bam! Knocked on his ass. Ah, uh, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, what? What just happened? Oh, no! Insufficient willpower. No. He's gonna... Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, Tomare. Damn! Clashing with the beast! What? No way! Great will. Yo. Beware my power. Green Lantern's light. Holy shit. Holy crap. Oh no. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh. Saturn Girl realizes what happened. <gasps> Phantom Girl's awoken. Oh shit. Oh, he sees it. Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh jeez. <sighs> That's right. I forgot this was the way he died. Uh, preventing the death of another world. Uh, poor Tomare. So now Metron has the orb. It sucks that it took the death of Tomare to get the cooperation of the Green Lantern Corps and the New Gods, but it is what it is. Okay, so they're gonna try to study the device. Now what happens now that Forager is a Green Lantern? He has to go and train, unfortunately. For yeah, Forager now has a lot of responsibility and a lot of power. Long distance relationship. William Shakespeare. Oh. God damn. Oh, Ryan also got a glimpse in the Rocket's mind as well. God. Oh, I've never seen Orion depicted in such a light. Just the challenges of his anger. I remember a Wonder Woman comic, especially in the New 52, that kind of delved a little bit into his anger issues. But, I don't know. I like that. You know, Rocket's storyline was very much in the background of all of this, but it didn't make it less of a pertinent story. Of just recognizing when someone has a personal challenge that they need to overcome. It's not bad. And all these things and how they connected. Fascinating. Everything's coming together. You just need to understand things a little bit better. And how, you know, what... Her son is dealing with is something that he just needs help overcoming so that he can live the best life possible. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Bart's nowhere to be found. That's right. I forgot Jay. Oh, uh, that's, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Odd. Where did Lord Zod, where did they all go? Oh, whoa. 
This is a wild collection of sorcerers. Like almost the entire magical community of the Justice League. What is that? Jason Blood, Khalid, Tracy 13, Mara, Garth. Isis, Zatanna, Naboo, Madame Xanatu, Giovanni Zatara, and I think a few others but on the other side. <laughs> she swore she would give us no peace unless we did this. It was like, nice. Oh, the Phantom Stranger and the Blue Devil. God damn. What are they up to? Man, to, like, everybody else is one thing, but the Phantom Stranger is in on this too? What is this? Are they trying to open a door? What was that? Ah, she's realizing. They were trying to contact Connor's spirit, sending out a signal in order to kind of reach out and touch him. But now she's realizing Connor's not dead. Need a detective. The question? Oh, Forager. <sighs> Had a wild ride, buddy. Oh, now the other Forager is reading Shakespeare. God damn. It would not be something that involves Greg Wiseman if Shakespeare wasn't all up in this shit, I swear. Like, we're gonna shove some culture down your throat. God damn. Ah, oh, that's beautiful, though. Yeah, I knew this wasn't going to be the most exciting storyline, but I knew that a lot of elements were going to move forward here. You know, now you have the almost the full backing of the new gods who never would have gone against New Genesis previously, and the backing of Oa, because they get to see that something major is going on behind the scene. It again sucks that it took the death of Tomare to do it, but ah, uh, and a Prometheus. I'm just not familiar with that. Oh, it's okay, I looked it up. It's just one of the old gods. Part of the source wall. <sighs> the source wall doesn't seem to work the same way in this universe as I thought it did, though. Then again, I'm not all that versed in the New God storyline. <sighs> oh man, I, I knew Tomare was probably gonna die because it's just like that. That's his story. That that really is his story. Tomare dies a sacrificial death trying to make up for the fact that he couldn't save Krypton. Like, <laughs> he might as well have come in with a red shirt. Uh, but his sacrifice for New Genesis went a long way, and I'm glad that worked out. It was interesting getting to see Jay Garrick out in the field. I never would have guessed the other Forager would become a Green Lantern, but that's the thing about Green Lanterns. is like, you see a Green Lantern who's not really that that important they're probably gonna die and someone else is gonna get the ring more than likely but forager and the other foragers whirlwind romance was cute nonetheless the relationship between rocket and orion i never would have saw coming but it was an interesting one you know it wasn't my favorite but i far from hated it it was a very interesting journey with that it was great getting Kilowog in something, though. Oh, one of my favorite lanterns. Love me some Kilowog. Got to see the Forever People again, too, after a long time. Uh, what else was there? I'm worried, though. Because, you know, now Chameleon Boy and Bart are now being... And Saturn Girl are now at the mercy of of Lord Zod. Like, what happens now? What What's going to happen to him? Because he could easily kill all three of them. Very easily. And last Saturn Girl just wakes up, manages to get inside Lord Zod's head, do something before he can act. But where they're going to end up is anybody's guess. But at least Saturn Girl was able to awaken Phantom Girl. But now the question remains, you know, what happens to Phantom Girl and Connor? Because Connor could be seen as the reason why General Zod couldn't get out of the Phantom Zone, meaning that the House of Zod turns against him. And Phantom Girl, her powers, I don't think, work in the Phantom Zone. Or maybe her powers are more attuned to the Phantom Zone than I think, because, I mean, she... I assume is the reason why Connor ended up in the Phantom Zone. But now you have Zatanna desperately trying to get to Connor in some way, shape, or form. And the saying that Zatanna saying she needs a detective, it there are multiple options here. Either you go with the regular options that it's her connection with the Bat family, I would assume she goes after Nightwing, because they used to have a little tete-a-tete -tete 
which is funny because usually Zatanna has a relationship with Bruce, but because they aged down Zatanna, she has a relationship with Dick Grayson. So I think she's talking about Dick Grayson, I assume, because Dick is the last person who hasn't had a storyline yet. Like, he, he's the last. They saved the best for last, essentially. So I'm guessing it's going to be this massive investigation of where Connor ended up. But, I don't know. I mean, Dick is good, but is he really going to be able to figure out? all of this out i wonder well if anyone can do it so tell me your thoughts in the comment section below which storyline has your interest the most connor and his time in the phantom zone the legion of superheroes trying to prevent the machinations of lore zod lore zod trying to get the house of zod out of the phantom zone Rocket's side situation worth learning a little bit more acceptance. The romance of Forager and Forager. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. Or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. And until next time, I've been Dudes This Then. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye